Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare deviled shrimp, which is camarones a la diabla. And for that, these are going to be the ingredients. We are going to start with two pounds of peeled, deveined, and washed shrimp and one tablespoon of butter. I am using the unsalted butter, one garlic clove, one tablespoon of regular ketchup, we are also going to need one large bell pepper, thinly sliced, half an onion, thinly sliced, two cans of the chipotles in adobo, and I'm using two, but you can use one as well, um, depending on the consistency that you would like. I am using the seven ounce cans. We're also gonna need one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of garlic salt, and one teaspoon of ground black pepper. So let's go ahead and begin. So my first step will be heating up a skillet and I'm gonna be adding the one tablespoon of olive oil and also I'm gonna be adding the one tablespoon of butter. And we are going to heat this up, wait for the butter to melt, and then we are going to add the onions and the peppers. Once this has melted, you are going to add your onions. And we are going to saute these for about a minute. After your onions have been sauteing for about a minute, you are going to add the bell pepper. And you are going to saute for another minute. You can do a minute or two minutes. And I have the heat on a medium, medium to high. You will notice that your bell peppers are going to start changing the color and that is when you want to add the shrimp. So we will go ahead and add the shrimp. And the purpose of doing this step first is because you want the flavors of the onion and the, um, and the bell pepper to infuse the butter and the oil. Then next, we are going to add our shrimp. Make sure that your shrimp is patted dry.
I am now going to add the garlic salt. And I did one tablespoon. I'm also going to add the one teaspoon of black pepper. And we are going to stir. Once you notice that your shrimp has changed color, um, it is almost going to be ready. And we are going to put this aside. And we are going to prepare our sauce. This is the color that you want to see, like this one here. So just keep on flipping until you see that all the shrimp has been cooked, fully cooked. So this usually will take about, I don't know, five minutes maybe. Shrimp cooks very fast. Okay, so now we're moving on to making the sauce. And um, I am going to add everything to the blender. So I'm going to be adding my chipotles to the blender. And we are going to add a little bit of water to this, um, but I'll show you because we're gonna be using the can from the chipotles to add the water. So in your empty can of the chipotles, you are going to fill this with water. And um, depending on the consistency that you want, if you want it to like watery, then you add more water, but I'm only gonna be adding one of these. So I'm gonna add my second one. And then I'm going to fill up one of these with water, okay? There's the water. Then I'm going to add the garlic clove and also the ketchup. And the ketchup is because it has sweetness to it, so it balances out the spiciness and it won't be too spicy. Okay, and then we're gonna blend this. Okay, so I transferred the shrimp uh, from, the, from the pan to a bowl. And now I'm gonna be using the same pan because we want all these flavors to um, to just come off the pan to the sauce. So I'm gonna be adding the sauce to my pan. And this is the consistency that I got. I might add a little bit of water. Okay. So I just added a little bit of water, you can see there. And I'm just going to shake that up and remove all the sauce that was left. But if you want it more watery, you can add just a little more. We're not going to be adding salt to this because um, the chipotle already has salt in it. So, uh, and then also the shrimp has been uh, seasoned. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to overdo it. Then we're going to boil this or just simmer it for a few minutes 
maybe like three to five minutes. And this is how the sauce looks. I am gonna add a little more water so the consistency is not too thick. Yeah, this is better. Once you start seeing those uh, bubbles, it's because this is ready, so we're gonna start adding our shrimp. Now very gently, you're gonna start mixing this. And we're going to let it simmer for about two minutes. The devil shrimp is now ready and I am going to show you how I serve it. So I make some white rice here and that's going to be the side dish. Um, and now I am going to plate it. Okay guys, so this is the finished product and um, here you can see I serve mine with some white rice. Um, the shrimp is so good. Um, if you like spicy food, this is your to-go devil shrimp. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you so much guys. Enjoy.